Hi there, this is Anna Prosser, uncontrollable here at MLG Dallas for Team Liquid with Rhett. How are you doing, Rhett? I'm doing pretty good. I just won my games against Huck, so uh, feeling happy. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the match, how it went? Uh, it went, it was 2-0. The first mat was Blistering Sands. Uh, he went expand and made like five gateways and tried to pressure me on both sides of my base and just kept going back and forth. So eventually I massed enough roaches to beat his army and just overran him at his base and it was over. Second game he picked Steps of War, which is a really close position map. And he went with a Zealot and a Stalker and rushed, uh, rushed me before I had a lot of links. So he killed like three drones and it really pissed me off. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna all in him. Made like seven roaches and then just followed up with like pure speedlings and, if, and killed him because he was trying to expand. So it went pretty well. So were you worried going into this match or were you pretty confident? Um, I was kind of worried because Huck's a really good player. So I wasn't expecting any easy games at all. And you know, it's always hard to figure out what someone's gonna do uh, in ZVP. So I was definitely worried and I'm very relieved that I actually managed to win. What have some of your other matches been like? Have there been any highlights? Uh, I played LZ Gamer earlier to this, to this morning. Uh, it was a pretty, pretty nice game, so long macro games. Lots of units from both sides and some investors. So those were some nice games, but I haven't really played anything like the matches we saw between Jinro and Sock and uh, QXC and Sen. So and, and another highlight is definitely Nazgul beating Hydra. I mean, that's just insane. I don't think anybody expected that. So, so far it's been a really good event for, for Team Liquid. Yeah, there have been quite a few thrilling matches. Yeah, exa and everybody's doing well, you know, except, except Haypro, but he's working his way up in the loser bracket, and we'll see more of him today, I hope. So speaking of Jinro, I'm hearing that you might be playing him next. Yeah, I'm playing the winner of Jinro in response, so I'm expecting Jinro to take that match. And uh, yeah, another teammate, which is really sad. I mean, I'm sad I had to knock Hawk to the loser bracket, but, you know, we're getting further in the tournament, and we'll, be, we'll keep meeting each other, so I'm just going to try my best and... Hope we put some uh, some good games. Are you feeling pretty confident that you might come out victorious in that match? Well, he showed some really impressive play against Sock, and apparently his TVP is his worst, so I can't imagine how good his TVZ is. So I, I really don't know. I'm I'm guessing it'll be pretty close, and hopefully I can uh, pull it out. Okay, who are you expecting to see in the top, uh, considering the competition we've seen so far? Um, well, I think. Uh, well, either me or, or Jinro is probably going to, you know, get to the semifinal. Well, definitely, and probably get to the final. And then from the other side of the bracket, I'm, I think it's going to be between TLO or Kiwi Kaki. I think they play next. One of those guys is going to get far, and Sen is there as well. So there's just a lot of good players all around. I but if I have to pick four, I'll pick well, me or Jinro, and then Sen, TLO, and Nazgul. So are you feeling pretty good about your team's chances to do well overall in the tournament? Yeah, I think so far, like I said, everything's been going really well, and I think I hope we can keep it up and, you know, make a good showing in the final standings. I know you've been battling a bit of a cold this whole time. Are you feeling a little better today? Yeah, it was really bad. It started the day before, and I was in the airplane, and it just made things a lot worse. And yesterday it was terrible, but today it's getting a little bit better, and hopefully tomorrow I'll be all fine again. It's been pretty chilly here in the uh, in the venue. Have you been keeping warm and, and getting better? Yeah, I've been trying to put on as many clothes as possible, except for this interview. But it's still pretty cold. But you know, we make do and try to hug a lot. And you know, <laughs> there is quite a bit of bromance going on yeah, here at this course. tournament. Of course, it's like that at every event, and I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> so, what are you going to be doing in the next few hours to keep yourself mentally prepared for your matches? I'm probably just going to get some food and then think about my CVT a little bit and try to figure out what the map is and just chill out and watch the great games from everybody else and just enjoy myself and, you know, try to be as relaxed as possible. Is there anything that the people at home should be particularly looking out for in the rest of the tournament? Um, lots of mutalisks, lots of banelings. I don't know. Hopefully not too many tanks, but you never know. Uh, just hope, hoping for some good games. That's it. Great. Well, are there any other shout-outs that you wanted to send before we sign off? Uh, shout-outs to my team, of course. Everybody's been really nice. It's been really great hanging out, you know, all of us together. And, uh, yeah, I hope uh, we can keep uh, keep up the good results. Great. Well, oh, well, 
something has just come to my mind spontaneously. Um, can you tell me a little bit about being in Korea? Uh, well, I'm flying to Korea on Wednesday next week, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, right after this event, basically, I'll, I'll have one day in the Netherlands to pack all my things and get on another airplane and fly another 12 hours or whatever and, you know, land in uh, Korea and move in with the uh, OGS uh, Team Liquid guys. And it should, be, it should be great. I mean, GSL is the biggest league in StarCraft 2. And, you know, me and Huck are both going to go next week, so I hope we can put up, do well there and, you know, get better and train a lot and... Uh, Living with uh, the other Team Liquid guys is going to be good too and hopefully learn a lot from the Koreans and just get better at the game and keep dominating. Is there any way specifically you're hoping that moving to Korea will, will help your career or help your game? Yeah, I think moving to Korea, playing on the Korean ladder and just living in a house with a very structured uh, practice schedule is just going to improve you so much as a player. And I think even if you don't stay there for years and years, if you just keep practicing and play for a couple months or half a year and you're going to return a lot better player if you decide to go back to Europe. So I think it's definitely an investment into like your own skill level and hopefully you know, I, I can improve fast. Yeah. So in the long term, as far as your StarCraft II career goes, what are you kind of looking forward to? Maybe how long do you think you're going to be in Korea? Or what's your ultimate end goal? Well, of course, like winning the GSL is a dream to every, every player in StarCraft II. That's going to be the goal because you got to aim for you know, the, the SARS. Um, but, um, yeah, just going to try my best in GSL. I hope I qualify for the first one. It's going to be pretty soon after I, I land, so it might be it might be a little difficult. I'm not sure I, I'm good enough yet, but I, I hope I qualify, and I just want to play lots of matches uh, in GSL and just own some Korean guys. <laughs> well, you've got a lot of support here. We've been hearing a lot of buzz about you. Have the people been pretty supportive, fans and other players? Yeah, it's funny because when I, I just started, I haven't been playing StarCraft 2 for that long. Um, so, you know, when I came to DC two and a half weeks ago, I was kind of like a nobody and nobody talked to me. But now that I'm playing a little bit more, there's more and more people are coming and saying hi. And, you know, it's, it's nice uh, to be recognized. Um, and, you know, more people are getting to know me. Uh, there's a lot of people in StarCraft 2 that never played Brute War, so they obviously wouldn't know me. But, you know, I hope I can get more fans and, you know, play play more, more games so people uh, get to know me. Great. Well, we'll definitely be rooting you on in the rest of the tournament. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you, too.